market update here on the 29th so I wasn't really watching the market as much today I had some other stuff going on but I did notice that we completed the move that I talked about yesterday I had this as one two three four and then uh, one two three four five so overall a B C down here and so I think that it is potentially finished here the only thing that's kind of uh, weird about this though is we got a corrective move up here and so if we're not finished yet then tomorrow this could potentially be one two three four five something like that maybe come all the way down here to the bottom of this and then if that happens that potentially means that we haven't even started this move yet so this end up ends up being a b c and this is not the start of the final wave we haven't even started it yet so that was something i noticed when looking at the chart but let's say we do bottom here and we start going higher then i would still label it as a b c but if it comes down here to 390 then i would label it a b c and then we would get a new move up here like that so that's kind of what i see on spy finish the move we were talking about and then it was just chopping around most of the day and uh so we'll see what happens tomorrow this could end up being a um, extended fifth wave so it could just be down here to 390. we will see tomorrow and one thing that's going to determine that is obviously the dollar and one reason i actually bring this into play is because of the dollar so we look at the dollar now and i was just looking at the chart i think this makes it's starting to make more sense right here we have actually one, two, three, and then this looked like it was four and this looked like it was five, but I think it's actually more accurate that this is um, A right here. And this is a B wave. This looks like a B wave to me. It doesn't look like a impulsive move. So we're looking at A, B, C, potentially all the way up here. And then we get a fifth wave down here because if this is a fifth wave, it barely went past the bottom of the third wave. Um, so I think there's a good chance we're going to see a move up here on Powell speaking up to like the high 107s. And then we get a move after he's done speaking down here to 103 or 104. Um, so I think this could play out. This took about six days. We could be bearish tomorrow and just finish this move here in the next couple of days and then going into cpi maybe we're going lower on the dollar so maybe into the 13th we're going in the fifth wave down here between 103 and 104. we'll see i'll still keep in mind though that this could be the fifth wave but it does look like a b wave to me um this is kind of a weird if we go on lower time frames See how this is just kind of like choppy? Doesn't look like a impulsive move to me. And then this kind of weird, we get a pretty big pullback here for a fourth wave. So I think it's more likely a B wave. So we have third wave, A, B, C, four, and then a fifth wave lower. So we'll see if that plays out. That would extend this move and make a lot more sense for SPY to go higher. And so we'll see how that plays out. If we do get that move higher on the dollar tomorrow, then we'll probably see an extended fifth wave and that would take us down here and the x wave would end up being over here so again it would just be as the dollar goes to the top that 107 high 107 we'd see a b c lower and then we would get as the dollar moves lower up here to like 404 to 407 something like that 200 dma so that looks really likely if this ends up being the fifth wave right here even though it doesn't look like it 
we would just be looking for a huge move higher and um, that doesn't really play into the scenario of SPY going higher. So I think that this is most likely going to end up being the fourth wave. The VIX just kind of sideways, nothing really happening out of that. QQQ um, down a little bit more than SPY. But again, this looks like it is, I would say it's probably more likely that this is a AB move. So ABC. So a, B, and then we got A, B, C up here. So everything looks like it's going to go higher to me. Of course, that could all change if Powell says some really hawkish stuff and then we get him raising rates more aggressively. So we'll have to watch that. Let's go to IWM. They're probably all going to look pretty similar, but IWM. actually positive on the day we zoom out here so the X wave is here and it looks very similar to spy so we have a B C up here and then X a looks like it is finishing out a looks like the B it's kind of the same as a spy we have either X right here or X is gonna be over here just like spy so it's either gonna be a B C uh, I think that there's gonna be another move on this um, it's actually bottom right here I was looking at that so ABC, and then it, yeah, it looks like we're doing the B wave right here actually. So A, B, C, somewhere higher than that. Uh, this pulled back to 174, so 12 points higher than this. We're probably looking somewhere around like 197 when this tops out. And there you go, that would probably be a little bit lower than this X wave. And so we're probably looking at it being like this again, A, B, C wave down here. And again, my target is 138 on that. And that is the, right at the 1.61 fib of the A wave. So a little bit higher on that, we're looking for a C wave higher on IWM as well. Okay, let's look at the Dow Jones. See if it's making any progress. I think it was, was it positive on the day? It might have been positive. Uh, yeah, bear, 0 0.01 positive. Okay. Uh, same thing. It looks like we're looking for A B. And then this is going to end up being uh, it looks like an ABC move. So again, just going to look for A, B, C like that. And then we're going to start moving down here. If we zoom out again, this one's a little bit different, but it doesn't really matter. It's a expanded flat. So we got A, B. So we're looking for the 1.23 fib or the 1.61 fib down here after we top out. So Dow Jones is the exact same thing. We're looking for higher on that. Uh, let's look at Bitcoin. I think that the higher, the higher move makes a lot of sense too because there's so many puts. I feel like one more move higher might exhaust all the bears. And then we get the move down, maybe expire some more puts going into the end of December OPEX. And then we start, uh, I guess not end of December, mid December OPEX. And then we get the move uh, lower after that. I'm pretty confident we're going to get a move lower though in mid to late December. So Bitcoin is probably going to follow the same path like I talked about yesterday. 
still sitting sideways looking for something probably up here into the 18,000 area if the dollar comes down to this area. So not really that much to say about Bitcoin right now. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Is there anything? Uh, Microsoft and Apple. Probably going to be pretty similar to QQQ, I would guess. I know Apple was down pretty good though today, wasn't it? Apple down even more today. Still see this as A, B, C though. Um, I guess it could. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. This could sell off more tomorrow. But this move right here looks like, let's see, a whole move. This is a whole move for B. A, this looks like A, A, B. So right here, A, B, C down here. And it looks like we got a five wave move here too within that. So we got one two three if i go down in lower time frames i wonder if it's finished yeah it might be finished so wait one two one two looks like three right here four could be finished right there uh maybe a little bit more downside just kind of like a spy maybe another one percent or so but I would say it's almost finished with the B wave and we're going to see a move higher to probably still like high 150s, uh, maybe like 160, something like that. So still on track, still an ABC move and Microsoft. I think that the chart makes a lot of sense for Powell tomorrow. I think we're going to get a spike in the dollar and then after he's done speaking, uh, maybe we get a sell-off in the dollar going into CPI. That makes a lot of sense. So Microsoft, same thing, still sitting here, finishing up this, what looks like to be a fourth wave, and still looking for the targets of about high 250s, maybe 260 or so. The overall chart is looking like A, B, C, A, B, A, B around here, and then it could go all the way up to 277, probably not though. Probably 260s, maybe high 250s. And then a five wave move lower. Target is going to be. Um, let's see, we came to 293. Top was at 350. So I'm guessing somewhere around low 200s, maybe a little bit lower than that. I guess I erased my targets on here, but uh, I would say anywhere from 185 to about 210 would be my target. If we just strictly do A, B on here, let's say we go to 224 and then we got, let's go, say we go to 260. We're looking for about 190 because we got 224 minus 30 about 1 194 195 so everything is showing the exact same thing and another one i can show you that tracks the market pretty good that i've noticed is us steel and i follow that sometimes it like shows you where the overall market's gonna go it's really weird but on this one, I've had this drawn for a long time, going to 27. If you go on lower time frames, you'll see that this is getting ready to make a fifth wave higher. So we got one, two, three, somewhere in here. We got a fourth wave right here. We should get a fifth wave up here as the market goes higher to probably this trend line or maybe all the way up to here 
because I have this as an ABC move. And then we get a move lower. So that has more upside. All of them are showing a little bit more upside, but there might be, tomorrow might be a little bit bearish if we get the move in the dollar up here to the high 107s. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Maybe I'm wrong and this will end up being the fifth wave, but it makes more sense for this to be the fourth wave ending tomorrow. And then we, then we sell off in the dollar as everything goes higher for a while. So that's pretty much it. Uh, just expect either a start of a move higher in SPY, or we're going to see an extended fifth wave with a target to... If we get an extended fifth wave, we're looking at 390.68... Let's see, 390.68, probably pull back to like 392. And then we would see this would take us below the four hour 200 DMA. But we would see like 388 or so. And I guess you could consider this a expanded flat, but not really. Let's see how far that goes past. If you go to 388, so the 1.23 fib is at 387. If you go to 387 tomorrow, then obviously this would be ABC, and then we would look for a move higher. So I think that's actually pretty possible tomorrow. 387 is possible tomorrow, but then if we get the move up higher, then just look for the ABC move to uh, begin then up here to the 200 DMA or this trend, long-term trend line. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe for more updates. And uh, let me know if you have any tickers that you want me to look at. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good night.